last day. Hi guys, sorry about my meth bun. Uh, namaste everybody. Um, I was basically homesick today, um, but I managed to put on some makeup. Okay, you know, you can't really tell. Um, let me just take you over here. I have several cards that I bought, um, some new cards, because what, sometimes I um, give away some of my cards, or whether it be my daughter or other friends. And then after that, um, I thought that I had enough, right? I had some in the car, but I managed to bring the ones that were in the car back in. And um, so what I did was uh, I was listening to my guides as usual, and they said, get rid of a couple of the cards. Remember, I was going to get rid of some artwork and prizes if I reached 4,000. And I had a list already of people who wanted to be a part of it. And what happened? I, I never re reached 4,000 yet, as of yet. Let's be, I don't know, something is wrong with my bun. It's just like falling apart. So it was supposed to be up like this, like a meth bun, full, full on meth bun. Okay. But uh, it wants to do what it wants to do. It's independent of me. Okay. Anyhow. So yeah, I didn't reach 400, 4,000 not 400, uh, 4,000 yet. I'm still like at 376, which I feel like that's wrong because it just stays at three, 3,766 or 76. And it's been like that for months. Anyhow, doesn't matter. Um, so anyhow, my guides told me if you give away a couple of your cards, especially ones that you really like. Like one of them was Ancestors um, with the book um, that, uh, and then I was like, oh, so just use my brain. You keep on telling me to just use my brain and do cold reads and intuitive reads and remote viewing type of things. And they were like, uh, we'll still do that, but we want you to go pick out some cards. You'll know when you see them. So that's what I did. Um, I know it's Christmas, and um, I was also Christmas shopping the other day. Um, what day was that? Monday, I guess? Yeah. So I also bought some Christmas presents, but I managed to get myself some cards. And um, I'm, I'm happy about it, and I'm going to show you guys. All right? And then, based on the thumbnail... Okay. Based on the thumbnail, I also got myself this cute ashtray because I have one ashtray, not an ashtray, but like a sage holder. Uh, it's in the garage in the my other studio. Um, yeah, I want to get back in there. I'll probably get back in there and do Sagittarius. Um, it's just that I have to bring a lot of stuff. Um, so I decided to leave out the sage burner out there so that that'll force me to go there because I, I get good stuff and Devin still hates when I burn stuff in here but I had to I needed to clean because I'm sick my stepson's sick he almost went to the emergency room today because he's in addition to coughing and you know sneezing and not being able to breathe too well um, he's been having horrible nosebleeds uh, bloodbath over here and then all of a sudden I got sick but I I start out with a like a, a neck problem, the old neck problem, then it goes into my back, um, but I started sneezing, I felt feverish, um, so I'm with kids, you know, I have the shots, but and so does my stepson and Devin, but um, you could still get sick, and you could still get viral things, um, and so I could feel myself fighting something. And so I slept a lot today. Anyhow, circle back, circle jerk back. Um, wasn't gonna do this, but it, it definitely makes me feel better because I haven't been on since my son. I had a great visit with my son. And um, of course I cried like a baby uh, when he left Sunday. So, but it was still, you know, I wanna think positively. I still, let me tell you something. 
because this is my channel so I could do what I want. It could be all over the place. Um, but I will, before I'm done, I will tell you who I have on my list. And I know I have veered off my list, but you know, my channel's for free, so anybody can watch for free. You don't have to pay me a dollar or Patreon or anything like that. You can watch for free, so in that, I could do, I could take my AD, AD, DDS and be all over the place, but I'll still get it done, so. Now I forgot what I was going to tell you, but I will show you my ashtray. Okay. You see it? <laughs> First I was buying that for, I think, one of my kids, and then I was like, this thing is really nice, and it'll probably break in the mail by the time I mail it to either Laura or Thomas, so I'll just keep it for the old lady over here. But um, yeah, it's really pretty, and on the bo on the bottom of it, it's velvet, or like sort of velvet, felt, felt. Yeah, calm down, it's not velvet. But anyhow, I think it was only like nine ninety nine or twelve dollars. I thought that was good, and you might say, why are you gonna waste it with um, incense? Well, the it's an ashtray, so I can always clean it out just like an ashtray. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so. This is only my second cup of coffee. And this is like a three cup, cup of coffee job, at least. At least. Okay, let me see if I can put you over here. Okay, so, yeah, we got the incense going, and I'm going to put down, I might be doing Dulce, um, just a quick intuitive read for Dulce, um, well, let me just write it down, okay, there's something I want to tell you about Summer Wells, I think I'm going to get that over with, because, you know, there's so many videos about her. All right, so let me just write it down, okay? All right, so summer, there's a, a, a thing about summer. Um, and, of course, there's Michael Vaughn. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I had three videos up of Michael Vaughn, right? I took down two. I, I didn't take them down, I put them on private, so you can't see them. I can see them, but you can't anymore. I figured, and I think about 200 people saw them. Um, maybe more, maybe less, doesn't matter. I don't even give a crap about the numbers because I know the universe works in that. Oh, now I remember what I was gonna say about manifesting. Um, but the universe works where wh whoever needs to see it, God will make them look up at, at the, their YouTube account and I will pop up if they need to see my video okay so whoever needed to see it I don't know if the parents saw it but whoever needed to see it, those three videos that I did for Michael Joseph of one monkey have seen it okay um, I never know if I spell his name correctly and I'm so sorry if I did if I did it, but um, anyhow, the reason why I took those two down and put them on private and left an 18 minute, an 18 minute video is up of, of um, Michael Joseph Vaughn, because I, what did I say? I said when I was doing it, okay, it was really late, I was very tired, but I still needed to do it so that I can go to sleep, but I had to go to work the next day, and I had um, it was after midnight, and if I don't take my medicine, you know, by 11, 12, um, I probably, I wouldn't fall asleep in the first place if I take it too late. So I had taken my medicine. I wasn't drinking, but my medicine makes me very hungry when it kicks in. Um, yeah, and sleepy, a little bit sleepy. But I, I, I knew that everything I had in my mind would come out. 
about Michael Vaughn. And, but then it, it just gets mixed up because I jump around even more when I'm on the sleep medicine. So, you know, I know there's people out there that say, never do any readings with your sleep medicine. Yeah. And on paper, you're correct. Uh, but in reality, you know, I got to do things when I, when I find the time to do them. Oh, this bun is really annoying, but I don't have... I don't have a scrunchie, but I do have a scrunchie. I do have a scrunchie available to just because I feel like somebody's touching my head. Okay, so yes, yeah, I'm doing a video. That's okay. So, um, yeah, I'm just chatting. Um, so I took them down because Michael. Joseph, I was going to say Michael J. Vaughn, Michael Joseph Vaughn, monkey, and his family and his loved ones deserve better of my time, okay? And you know, I do this all for free. I don't, um, I'm not contacted by the family. Sometimes I am, um, but I do this for free, and I do it from my heart and from my third eye and from the gifts that God has given me. Um, and so whenever I can get a chance to do, I would love to do every single case, every single case, but I still have to work and take care of my family and take care of my home. Okay. Um, so, you know, I, I'm sorry. Well, there's really no reason to be sorry. Um, but this is just how I work. Okay. Um, I'm sorry if it's not up to other people's standards. Uh, but you know, those of you who have watched me, I have over a thousand videos, um, that are all different styles. They're the cards, they're psychic, uh, readings, they're card readings, they're, uh, dowsing rods, they're intuitive reads, they're car talks, vlogs, all kinds of crap, okay? Not crap, but all kinds of things. There are, you know, I do art gallery stuff. I, I talk about my books, whatever um, is on my mind. I talk about the trolls. Um, I don't, I haven't really talked about that. Um, but you know, be proud of me. I, I'm staying out of the drama. The YouTube drama is at a very low vibration. And, um, there's a few of us that still resonate high, a few of us readers that aren't competitive, and um, I'm going to tell you a couple of them right now. Uh, one of them is Butterfly Readings, um, Awakened Butterfly Readings, okay, I've talked about her before, Quinthria, um, I call her Lady Q, I call her Butterfly Heart. And she has lots of readings on Summer, of course, but she has lo loads of readings on the boys. She has loads of readings on everybody. Like, I don't, if you notice, I, if you've noticed, I don't do every case. I can't do every case. I do have an opinion on almost every case. But unless I resonate with it or can handle it, like, I can never do the um, Delphi. And I tried. I tried. So many people asked me, and it was when I was first coming up. And you know, when you're first having your come up, you, you do anything. I did readings for free. I did. I gave readings to people in Australia, people in England, people in the United States, people in New Zealand, people in Canada, for free. I did my come up, okay? Um, but anyhow, I always do my any murder cases for free, and if, if people have a quick question, I do that for free too. Um, anyhow, and all the signs, whatever. I forgot what my point was, but I definitely will be doing the following. I had my pen open because I was writing, and it started to dry out, literally, okay? Um,
did I tell you guys when I was working last week, um, you know, the week that was long, I might not have told you because, because my son came, my son came over, um, but I had a little girl in my class, uh, one of the, remember when I was working three different schools and I came back and I said I apologize to especially Texas people because, um, there was, there's so many nice people, there was some people that were rude to me and mean to me or just ignore me, and then there were nice teachers too, as well, or nice people as well, so I wanted, I came back and I apologized, and I'm glad I did, um, but, so I wanted to tell you that when I, you know, the Spirit is always giving me signs, even if I'm not on the air, even if you don't see this, uh, chubby face, um, my, my spirit guides, and, um, oh my gosh, I just thought of something, uh, I was thinking about Ganon, right? And then all of a sudden a, a, a video popped up from somebody named Pamela, and I'd never really see her. She used to do a lot of stuff in the past, and then I stopped seeing her um, do any videos. Like, she came up at around the same time as me, around Ganon time, I think. Yeah, so anyhow, um, all of a sudden, so I watched her video about Ganon. And then all of a sudden, there was Ganon, and it was, the channel was called Ganon. So apparently, and I, I don't understand why I never saw this before, apparently he had a YouTube channel about playing the game Sonic, because he loved that game, video game Sonic. And where he was, he was with his friend, and the friend was so cute too. And Ganon was so cute, is so cute. Um... And he was talking about the game and how they're going to have this video. They're going to have these uh, YouTube videos. And he was this close to me. He was here on my screen and I was here. And I was like, hi, Cannon. And so he was just so cute. And then I realized the room he was in. I had to stop watching it. It was only a quick, but I did manage to watch it three times. Uh, the room that he was in was the room that she murdered him in. Leticia murdered him in his bedroom. That's where he was murdered. So, that was terrible, but I was wondering why they wanted me to see that. But every time, it's like every time that I don't want to do any more of these cases, I just want to do like horoscopes and people's, you know, what spirit guides have to say to people, um, and just like keep it light and my artwork, my books, um, or just my vlogs, talk about nothing, talk about everything. And then Ganon always comes and he says to me, please do this. Because he told me, please do find JJ and Tylee. Please find JJ and Tylee. Because Tylee could be like my big sister. And JJ could be like my little little brother. And I was like, I don't do teenagers. And he was like, Katrina, please do it for me. And then I started getting into the Lori Vallow case, and that was terrible. Never got any any kind of credit. You know who got the credit, and that's okay. Because the spirit guides tell me to take your ego and acquiesce, okay? Because they see my work. But, so um, I was wondering why I was seeing Ganon, like, visually. Because I always feel him in my heart, and Shanann, of course, because she helped me produce this whole YouTube account. I wouldn't have been able to do it without her. And a little bit of credit goes to Rich Lop. He's a YouTuber um, that went from being homeless to having, you know, getting his two daughters back um, and raising them and having, you know, manifesting a whole beautiful life living in a beautiful house that has a, a built-in pool and a jacuzzi, okay? Um, anyhow, yeah, his name is Rich Lop. I've, I've talked about him before. 
He's, he's a tarot card reader. He never has said he's psychic. Um, I don't know if he's saying he's psychic now, but anyhow. Anybody could read, learn to read the tarot cards, but not everybody has a gift. Okay? Um, anyhow, if that's what you want to do, try to do it. Study it. Try to do it. Try to feel it. Um, but anyway, I, I think that Gannon shows up when there's a little kid missing, and so he showed up for summer. He told me, you know, a week, less than a week after, maybe two days after she was gone. And I never get into cases. I, I usually wait a week, at least, because I have to feel the energy. Maybe the spirit is still there. So sometimes I don't touch it until I really feel it. Instantly, I felt her. He told me she could be my little sister, Katrina, please. So I did. And that was like the fastest I got on a case. So that was, I believe my first video was um, the 20th of June or maybe the 25th of June. Okay, so she's missing on the 15th from the 15th, allegedly. Okay. Um... One second. Okay, so. Okay, I think this is enough for me. I mean, of course, I have a million things in my head of what to do. Um, I have a feeling uh, on Heidi. Um, Heidi Plank, I think her name is. Uh, I was going to do an intuitive read on her because her son you know, really misses her. Um, do I feel she's alive? No. Let me know in the comments if you really want me to go into her case. Uh, I do believe she will be found or something of her will be found. Um, but I do believe she's definitely in the spirit world. Summer felt she was in the spirit world. And so these are the cases that I'm going to be focusing on. All right, so I have more things to tell you about summer, the summer case, summer moon. Um, but I do want her to enjoy heaven. It, when when people do call her, you know she does acquiesce, she does come. But you don't, you want her both feet in heaven. You don't want her to suffer anymore by recalling details. What you want to do is you want to try to contact her spirit guides or work through your own spirit guides. And that's what I, I, I do from now on because it's been so, it, it's been, what is it, six months? You know, and now the same thing for Michael Vaughn. Michael Vaughn was miss, has been missing a month after Yeah, uh, I'm just writing down his birthday because I did finally find his birthday. Um, and I believe it's June 24th. So he was a cancer moon child. Um, it's the same year as summer. So it's he's June 24th, 2016 because he was exactly five. Maybe she was a couple of months older than him because she's February. Okay. So this is probably backwards, coming out backwards. So I have some things for summer. Uh, Michael J. Vaughan, Dulce, Madeline, Madeline McCann. I have some things to say about that. There's a reason. The case has been cracked, but um, there's a reason that they're not telling us. Okay, um, Orin and Orson, Sincere and Classic, of course I told you, promise to get back to them. Marilyn Monroe, okay, because I'm such a fan, and I really believe she's one of my spirit guides, and she, I believe she was my mother's spirit guide because my mother did nothing but talk about the beautiful things of Marilyn. You know, of course she drank too much and took pills, but Back then, they gave them the pills, all right? They expected them to, you know, be slim and to work so many hours, just like Judy Garland, okay? Um, 
and Jenny Rivera. I didn't forget uh, my Forever Bella, um, my friend Jackie Forever Bella Butterfly. She has a YouTube channel as well. Um, definitely go check it out. Um, I have. I feel Jenny Rivera is her spirit guide. My friend um, Forever Bella. Uh, Jenny. I didn't even know about Jenny Rivera until I met Forever Bella Butterfly. Okay. So these are the cases, and if you have any cases that you want me to think about I'll just if I can do it I'll do it even if it's gonna be like eight minute my my whole dream was that eight minute thing I was gonna do an eight minute video go back to my style of eight minutes um, because then I don't get so tired out and if there's anything that you know I can think of afterwards I can always add to it um, and do it another time but the reason why I was going to do eight minutes is because most people watch videos for seven eight or thirteen minutes they like they like them short once you go to fifteen and like twenty six now uh, you lose people but you you can always fast forward and then there's other people who like longer videos because they like to go to sleep by my voice my music whatnot okay so we'll see um you're probably wondering what i have to say about so yeah so this video i'm going to put um in the title summer because i'm about to tell you something okay this is my deck um of course you have to go by if it resonates with you in a beautiful way and not that I like tarot cards. I don't like tarot cards. I really just hold them to see the pictures. And I hold them and I say to my spirit guides, what do you want to tell me about this card? What should I know about this card? Okay, but look at the artwork. This is called Tarot of the, the Divine. Maybe I'll just call this unboxing and do a different video for summer. Yeah. It's just a quick one. It's just a quick thing. It's some notes that I wrote. Anyhow, yeah, I might do that. Um, it's called Tarot of the Divine. It's inspired by deities, folklore, and fairy tales from around the world. Um, and who is it by? Yoshi Yashitani. Yoshi Yashitani. Isn't that beautiful? I don't like big fat books because it overwhelms me and it's like, oh no, another book I have to read. And, you know, usually I don't get to it. So this is beautiful because it goes in a folklore way. Look at the artwork. And so I was like, oh, I can handle that. That's not, that's not bad. Um, so if you, if you are resonating with this, with these cards, then let me know. Um, can you do a reading with those cards that you showed us? Okay, they're really beautiful. Okay, so Yoshi, I mean they're the same, like judgment means the same as regular judgment, but I, I'm interested in seeing what it says in the book. The sun card, look at how different. Okay, so that's not a rule. That's not all. Oh no, that is not all. Okay. But you know what? I felt inspired because I heard them. They said that in my head. And, but they said, first you have to give up some of, some of the ones that I had. So, next one is Tattoo Tarot. I knew this was going to be good. It's ink and intuition, tattoo tarot. And look at the size of this book. Made me even happier. Look how skinny. <laughs> so like, I don't feel overwhelmed and I've already been um, flipping cards even though I never came on. I was flipping cards about summer specifically. Um, I didn't do Michael Vaughn with these cards yet, but I will, because you know, he's on my list. and. Being that I took down the other two videos, I will be putting up two more for him. At least two more. Okay. Um, but these, this book is so informative, but it's quick. 
So, you know, it explains everything. And it's a little bit different than regular tarot. And wait do you see these cards. They're red. Which, I don't know, the red gives me energy. And oh, I love this. Most of them have tattoos on them. For some reason, the magician doesn't have any tattoos. I would expect the magician to have tattoos, but he has a, a long coat on, so you can't really see his tattoos. But just look how beautiful. Queen of Swords, uh, Queen of Wands, King of Coins. Um, I'll show you my favorite. I like this one. It's not my favorite, but I like that one. He has the king tattoo on his head. A sun. Okay. Of course, I can't find the one I would. I kept getting this one. Knave of Wands. Which has an envelope tattoo, which is, I kept getting it for summer, that a letter is coming in. Um, it could be, it could just represent a young person, but a letter or a text or an email um, or a message from a young person is coming in. So, um, let me know if you like that. I have one more deck to show you. This could, so I just want to show you. Usually I take them out of boxes, but this box was so nice. And I might be keeping these two little boxes. It's just that I have uh, grown out of no room because this is my art studio, my dining room, the computer room, and uh, a reading room. You know, I can't keep like things that could get wet outside in the garage because. It would get ruined, so I don't have any cards out there. Isn't that beautiful? I really resonated with this. I, I, I can honestly say I was working with these cards. I didn't work with... I didn't work with these. I mean, I just got them Monday. I didn't work with these, but I did look at them and touch them. The next step would be to sage them. I saged these a little bit. A little bit. But not enough that... I feel like they're ready to, you know, to go. So what I would do is I would say my prayer over them, take them all out, 